Where can you go to find all the best horror movies you've never heard of? One word, Netflix. The streaming service is packed with zombies and vampires and hauntings that have flown under the radar for too long. Here are the most underrated, scream-worthy, streamable films currently available on Netflix. Midnight Meat Train. Before he gave his voice to a bionically enhanced space raccoon, Bradley Cooper was the star of this incredibly creepy, bizarrely overlooked New York horror story. Midnight Meat Train tells the story of Leon, a photographer who accidentally uncovers the existence of a murderous butcher who's using the New York City subway as his own personal slaughterhouse. Needless to say, things get gory, and the film goes for broke in its final scene with a seriously twisted surprise ending. Sadly, a delayed and limited theatrical release kept Midnight Meat Train from getting the attention it deserved, especially considering Cooper's star power. And the movie's production values, but that just makes it one of Netflix's most hidden gems. Train to Busan The only thing scarier than a roving pack of zombies is being trapped with them in a claustrophobic train that's flying through the Korean countryside at 100 miles an hour. Enter Train to Busan, a fabulous under-the-radar horror film that milks its unique setting for all it's worth. The titular train is barreling through a world overrun by the undead. Bound for a southern resort city that's rumored to be the last safe stronghold for humanity, Train to Busan was a hit at the Cannes Film Festival in 2016 and broke box office records in Korea, but it was almost completely overlooked by American audiences and critics. Fortunately, it's ripe for discovery as a new addition to Netflix's horror library, The Pact. Despite a promising release at Sundance in 2012, The Pact never found the audience it deserved during its original limited theatrical run, but this smart, spooky horror flick is a perfect pick for streaming. Starring Katie Lotz, who you might know as Arrow's original ass-kicking canary, The Pact tells the story of a young woman with a troubled past whose mother has died and whose sister has gone missing, and whose house may or may not have a few haunted skeletons hanging around in its closets. Director Nicholas McCarthy wrings every last iota of suspense from his minuscule budget, and Lotz's performance anchors what is ultimately a quiet but an intensely creepy film. We are still here. The debut film from director Ted Gagan is a modern-day throwback to classic horror. It tells the story of a couple mourning the death of their son who moved to the country in search of a fresh start, only to find themselves haunted by an unspeakable evil. We Are Still Here premiered at South by Southwest in 2015 and was considered by many critics to be one of the best horror films of the year, with an inventive plot and just the right amount of artfully executed gore. Since then, though, it's been tragically overlooked. VHS 2 the original horror anthology film VHS has gotten a decent amount of attention for its inventive, bite-sized tales of terror. Because why take two hours for a slow burn fright fest when you can pack multiple horror stories into the same amount of time? VHS was successful enough to spawn a sequel which sticks to the original format but offers up an entirely fresh crop of scares. Like its predecessor, VHS 2 includes something for everyone, from zombies to aliens to haunted body parts. Stakeland this underrated apocalypse film tells the story of an orphaned teenage boy named Martin, living in a world where vampires have overrun every human stronghold. With the help of a mysterious vampire hunter known only as Mr., Martin makes his way across America in search of a safe haven, dodging killers both human and supernatural. Making the most of a tiny budget, Stakeland is a best-of-both-worlds mashup between the apocalyptic horrors of The Walking Dead and the action of Blade. A smart and compelling survival drama full of interesting characters, thoughtful social commentary, and of course, blood-sucking monsters. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.